that now when you go to use your terrain tool, it's going to not only pull up the terrain very fast, it's going to fill up your soil containers incredibly fast. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Astroneer, Episode 9, where I've waited an entire solar cycle, and I've determined this spot to be the spot of 100% solar activity no matter what, and we're next to a cave, and we're also next to the red mountain formation over there, which is pretty exciting, but we don't want to just build our base anywhere. See, there are tumbleweeds here, at least there usually are. Not sure why I'm not seeing any. Oh, is that... Oh, more more research. Right, so we need to get a research station up. And we need to get a mineral processor going. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing any tumbleweeds. What I will tell you, though, actually... Is that I'm going to take this small solar panel and... Let's just... Yeah, we'll attach that compound to there. That works for me. And we're going to use the wide mod. We don't have the boost mod, but at least we have one of them. We're going to start eating up some of this terrain here. Because even though we have sunlight here pretty much perpetually, we want to make sure... That our solar panels are up high enough. Ooh, an organic. Nice. We've somehow made a mistake. That it won't be a big deal. Plus, we also want a workable area that's up out of where all of the... Tumbleweeds are. Which, really, as I was about to say, that seems a lot more relevant when there are tumbleweeds around. I'm sure once we leave and come back, they're going to be all over the place, though. Okay, so we have two canisters of soil. So we're going to take this up a little bit here. Let's... nope. Uh, actually, I want a little bit like this. And then... actually, no, a little bit more. And then a flatness between that grade. There we go. Let's make sure we give the mod time to do its thing. Without the boost mod, this wide mod has a difficult time doing it. You need to let it sit there for a minute, unfortunately. We're going to go back and get the boost mod, though, here before too long, because we need to bring more resin with us. And as you can see, as you get higher, you start to see more of this galactic disk. And you can see what I'm talking about, how the sun is offset from the galactic disk. Oh, I think I might have messed up my grade, but maybe not. We are using up our soil, though. Okay, at some point we're going to need to flatten it out. I don't think we're going to do that right now, though. We need some mods. We need to go back and get some mods. But what we can do is we can drop off our happy little habitat here. And I dare say also the compound. Was I not able to... a uh, resin to make the boost mod. Resin. Of course it is. Alright. So we're going to just head back now to where our other base is, where our rocket is, because we have to bring resin with us. The arid planet, while it has... I'm going backwards. While it has lots and lots of lithium... Oh, I did not mark my spot. Yeah, okay, no, it marks itself, even when it's not planted. Good, good. Uh, the arid planet is notoriously bad for resin and compound. It has a lot of lithium and titanium and... Oh, my goodness. Just rolled the vehicle. I like, too, how the tumbleweed hit us right head-on in the face. It's an open seat. I don't know how we would have been protected. The spikes on those things are huge. And we're actually not that far away. We got lucky. We picked a good landing zone that was very close to the permanent solar area. Um, in trial runs, when I've done this, I've had to travel much, much further to find it. Let's see, we still have hydrazine on board. 
one compound over there. We don't really need that. Okay, let's... We might as well take our canisters with us. And we're off. We're going to head back. Back to the Terran planet. Woo and hopefully not hit the arid planet on the way out. Yeah, they're not that far apart. They're pretty close to each other. That's good. All right, let's see the big map. And we're next to nothing. Well, and I guess we'll just cut back to landing at the Terran planet. All right, and we're setting down here pretty soon. Oh, almost. Ooh, got a little low on the hydrazine on that trip. And there we have it. Right back to our first base. Such humble beginnings. Alright, from here what we need... Mm, all this lithium. We're going to need resin. First of all. But I don't think we need to copy it yet. Because there actually should be a good bit of resin over here, if I recall. Yeah, look, there's a little bit here. Because once we have the boost mod, you'll be able to start uh, to see why it's so valuable and why some people get it much sooner than I did. But we don't have the sun to power our wide mod. Uh, actually, let's take the wide mod off for a second. Alright, there we go. So we'll just gather resin with our regular terraforming tool. There we are. Lots and lots of yummy resin. Oh, more than we can handle. Oh, and we got the compound and everything. Well, let's go ahead and use one to make a boost mod. And that didn't really free up any room. Okay, that's fine. We'll bring it back with us. Such peaceful music. Yeah, those tumbleweeds on the arid planet are a big problem, which is why we're going to be having our base mostly underground there. Alright, so let's see. What we want to do... Let's grab another resin over here. The compound I probably should have dropped off before I came back, but the compound was more if we needed it, and we did not. So put the boost mod on first, which is going to make the tool more powerful. Then you put the wide mod on, which makes your, your augment wider. And make sure you see both of them. Now if they're both lit up, you'll see that now, when you go to use your terrain tool, it's going to not only pull up the terrain very fast, it's going to fill up your soil containers incredibly fast. And from that point, you're able to fill up your mineral extractor. Or do whatever you need to do, as long as you have a power source. What I find works best let me get that canister back, thank you. What I find works best is actually... Um, two batteries. Sorry, I got distracted. Two batteries, and you will be able to fill up four soil containers before you run out of power. Roughly. Now, if you want to fill up eight soil containers all at once, which you can still do, then you're going to need you're going to need four batteries. In which case, you can't carry oxygen tanks, or you can, but you got to lose other tools, and you might not be able to make that work. Problem is, you have no room for anything else. Oh wait, no, that's right, that's right. That's why we're supposed to have medium storage areas there. Right, that's that's the benefit of that. We're, gonna, we're just going to have to load this up manually. So we'll just throw all these containers down. Hopefully there's no storm. There we 
we go. For ammonia ought to do it. The return trip. Let's see, how much research do we have? 1300 bytes. Are we able to do the alignment mod is 1800. I really like the alignment mod, but that's okay. Actually, let's do this. It looks like we have the space to just pull them all out. And we're one short. That's okay. We'll just leave it to the whims of possibly being stranded out in space. I think we'll be fine. It's topped off. So we have no research going. Oh, but I really want to leave this place behind and focus my efforts on the arid base. So let's get ourselves some medium storage over here. Please, and thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll take the compound, and I'll also take the canisters. Okay, compound went right down there. Perfect. And let's make some more resin. It's actually incredibly fast doing this, but, you know, it... It's, you use up so much terrain that you kind of want to have a little bit of a plan because you're able to sculpt so much area so quickly. And really, for my major plan, what I need is an alignment mod, so we're not going to be able to do that right away without first getting some bites. Oh, look, we did have one more ammonia. Oh, nope, fill it all up, all the way, all the way. Very good. All right, let's make resin. Put this one here. Take this over to where the hydrazine is. Oh, don't fight with me, storage. It's also important when you're relocating to bring one of each mineral that you're not going to be able to find naturally. Uh, which, it's just one container. But it took all four. Okay, well, we'll just take the one container then. There we go. Nope. This one. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, now we got that extra little bit of fuel there. And we've got a full stack of resin to take with us. We have compound on site. So let's see. So the only things I want to bring that I want to make sure we have are the laterite and the malachite, if we have room. Which we don't. Well, we can leave the work light behind. And we'll just grab one of these malachite right here. The lithium and titanium will be in abundant supply. There we go. Perfect. Now I think we're all set and we can head back. So let's blast off and go back. And here we go, uh, and it looks like we chose the right landing spot. I was worried we'd chose the vehicle bay. I don't think it would have mattered too much. Uh, the copper can stay behind, as can the... No, 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 we need, we need at least one compound to come with us. Oh my goodness, then what stays? Well, we can drive back and get it. It's not that far to drive. Okay. So we put our medium storage of all of our resin there. A small solar panel here. Oh, we can bring the uh, bring the compound where the small solar panel was. Derp. Okay, there we go. Let's head on over to our epic base position. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna roll this thing in the wind. Don't wanna do that. Careful, careful. Yeah, that's how I thought the lithium was with the with the gray, the dark gray floor there. But we're gonna get all the lithium and titanium we could ever hope for here in this area. 
And it looks like we're in a little bit of nighttime, and that's just because of this hill here. If we were to come up here, boom, sunlight. The medium panels plus, they have a very large range as far as where they will accept sunlight. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, let's see if we can see if we can do something with this, shall we? There we go. We'll start with that. Get ourselves some soil. And then see if we can make this happen here. Okay, it looks like it's so far so good. And we're about out of power. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then that way we'll ensure that our solar panels have no shadows. Oh! Tumbleweeds, and they're just kind of... Okay, I was going to say glitched, but no! Here they come! Okay. I think we need to swap out. Is I need some power. So let's give our compound a toss down there. Ooh, I sank that area and I didn't really mean to do that. Ooh, 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 wait. No, um. Oh, let's not make it any worse. Let's just let's just leave it alone. And now I'm out of power. So let's go up on this hilltop here and get some. really like to get the alignment tool before I start any kind of permanent fixture here. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go ahead and take our medium storage off. And put our solar panel back on our vehicle. Alright, so there's research right up here. Oh no, we're going to need some other resin if we're going to make another... Well, we could always make a mineral extractor back at this other place, just as a temporary measure. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have an extra one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so then if that's the case, let's go ahead and throw down some more stuff that hopefully doesn't get lost. Take a resin, then I'll give you a laterite. See how that works? And then I'll take a resin, and then I'll give you a compound. Boom. Now everything's sort of here. We'll just we'll move you into the ditch, maybe, and lower your chances of getting knocked around in a storm. Okay, let's head back to our base. Our, our pre-base, our mini-base. And set up a research area. So that we can hopefully get to 1800 bytes and get an alignment mod so that we can do this base over here properly. Oh no! A little bit more sun. Just gotta get into the sunlight. It's given us just enough to continue. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Well, we have the resin on us. Nothing to it. Nothing to it but to do it, I suppose. And all that ladder right there. Didn't need to bring that. Let's go in this direction. Uh, well, no, we should we should pull it down here. There we go. Oh, it's a storm. So a research chamber is going to need compound. A mineral extractor also needs compound. If we make the mineral extractor, though, we can make more compound. So we have to go with the mineral extractor. Once we have the mineral extractor, we don't have to worry about anything else. That storm is heading right for us. So actually what I think we'll do is we'll use this moment to... Oh no, it's not heading right for us. Look at me worrying for no reason. So I should have just left all the resin there. Whoops. That's alright. 
I, I underestimated, I forgot about the alignment mod. I took it for granted that I would have it by this stage and then realized I was just shy, so. Ooh. All right, that's some weird flashes of stuff with the sun. Let's see, one, two, and then, or actually no, we're just gonna need the one, and then one compound plus a second one, plus the one that we already have over there. Yeah, that works. Because there's one over there, there's one on our manufacturing belt, and, or our, our little printing belt like item, and then, I'll, and then we also have an extra one, so that should be plenty. Two to make the mineral extractor, one to copy. And then we also grabbed a resin to copy. Should be everything we need. So let's start with getting our mineral extractor up and running. And you need power. So let's give you power first, shall we? All right, now. Oh, we were leeching the power off of it, off of the solar panel. That's funny. I don't necessarily want this laterite just yet. So we're just gonna try to fill up our, our soil tanks. Ooh, ouch. Careful. Those hurt. There we go. And out of power. We didn't quite get all four filled, but we don't really need eight compound and eight resin. We're just trying to get on our feet here. So let's see. The first thing we're going to need is more resin. What is that? That's two. That's two more resin. Plus we have more over there. That should be it. Right? We should be good from there. In any event, we'll stick with two resin for now. Uh, we've, we've spidered off of this about as much as it will go. No, we're going to need more resin. There. We'll just commit. We'll get four. We can get more soil easily enough. Oh, look at this rock formation over here. Look at this. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. It's kind of neat. Some titanium. Ooh. Tumbleweeds. There we go. That's two tanks full. Watch out. Gotta dodge those tumbleweeds. Do we have power yet? We must. Okay. Good deal. Let's do it. Take four resin. I think we'll put our batteries here just to give us room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it. Watch it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Okay, perfect. Plenty of resin. So let's go down this way. And then down one more. And then here. Perfect. Now for the compound. Which should be... Mm, I don't think we need that much compound. Hold on. We had another one, right? We have one... We should have two compound. No, do we just have the one? I think it is just the one. Drat. Okay, so we do need to make some compound. And unfortunately, we're not at the location of unlimited solar here. So we're just going to have to let the uh, the sun come back around and give us ooh, some love. Uh, or we could find the generator. Yeah, where did I put the generator? 
I don't even think I brought the generator. Oh, that's all right. The sun will be around here in a minute. Hmm. Okay. Well, apparently that tumbleweed really wrecked me because my screen is still red. <laughs> but we are ready to make some compound. I'm going to queue it up from inside the safety of my little ship since the tumbleweeds are just everywhere now. They're making up for lost time. Oop, sun flare. That's two, three, four. Not bad. Now that we have a mineral extractor here, we shouldn't need to go back to the Terran planet anytime soon. Of course, watch if I say that it's going to try and make a liar out of me, but... Ooh, can I queue this up from here? I can. Look at that. Very nice. So now we just have the little issue of power. That's all. Just the small, singular issue of power. And why? Oh, wow. This looks different. This is different. Oh my. Was there an update I didn't know about? There must be. That's interesting. That's cool. So here's what we don't have, though. There's a printer here. Do No, 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 no. We, we did make a printer. We did. We did. Yes. So now we just need this thing to get the power... It's available right now. Because we have an extra copper, right? No, we don't. That is our extra copper. Well, we could make another solar panel. I think the best bet is actually going to be... Ooh, watch out for the tumbleweeds, Thranxes. Let's... Let's just save our game. Got all this organic around us. And we have more compound over there. Why don't we just make a generator? Yeah. Thank you. Problem is definitely solved. Look at all this organic out here. And we'll fill up our soil at the same time a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. So now we shouldn't have any problems with power. Or at least not long enough just to get our mod that we want. Come on. There we go. Perfect. We even have enough organic to run it twice. 126 bytes a minute. Wait a second. Oh yeah, so it's following like this arc. Interesting. And that's how many bytes it gives. Over how long? That's pretty neat, so then you get the most in the middle and then a little bit at the end. It's pretty cool. I wonder if you can still research lithium. I'll have to I'll have to look to see because I was I had heard rumors and rumblings that that was going to get changed in the next update, or at least modified. I wonder if it has been. I will have to do some research. Uh, we'll be there in no time. Narrow mod. Alignment mod. So what the alignment mod does that's so neat is it enables you to draw straight lines, whether they're horizontal or vertical, which is pretty cool. So you can affect, kind of make floors and walls, sort of. And we're going to need that. Okay. Well, I suppose this is where we'll wrap up the episode. Rather than sit here through all of this research, we're on to the next phase, at least. We're here to stay for a bit. So I will hopefully get this research knocked out and we'll be ready to rock with the alignment mod first thing next episode. This has been Astroneer, episode 9. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time as we begin the construction of our big permanent base here on the arid planet. 
with the alignment mod in our grasp. And hopefully the storm will miss us. But until next time, take care.